morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. My name is Johnny Girardi. Uh, I'm Data Sales Founder and CEO. And today we'll talk about Acumatica Summit 2020. Uh, get a little preview of uh, our presence over there. Uh, if you haven't been to Acumatica Summit and you're going this time, uh, you're going to love it. Uh, I've been in ERP conferences for about 20 years, and Acumatica Summit uh, is at the top of the most exciting ones. So you'll have fun, uh, you'll learn a lot. Uh, it's an event that has a few thousand people, so it's still possible for you to get to know anyone that you want. Uh, when conferences get really big, like you know, usually be, uh, beyond 10,000 people, it's harder to get to meet some key people. So uh, if it's new to Acumatica Summit uh, and you want to meet with people, really connect. It's a great opportunity. It's fun and you learn a lot. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a little bit about reporting and BI uh, opportunities at Acumatica Summit. Uh, the main BI players and vendors uh, will be present at Acumatica Summit. I want to highlight two of them. Uh, one is, of course, Data Self, and the other one is Vilexo. Uh, Vilexo is an Excel reporting kind of solution. I'm highlighting these two vendors because Data Self and Velaxo are used internally by Acumatica, the company Acumatica. So if you look what Acumatica is using internally out of their own Acumatica system, uh, they quite use Velaxo for Excel reporting and Data Self for dashboarding and data warehousing. So um, certified products, uh, highly well endorsed. I highly recommend you to check both, both companies if you're looking for, for better reporting. Uh, we're going to have a session on Monday, 3.30. 3, uh, 3 it's called Lightning Fast, Key Performance Indicators for Acumatica. So it's going to have a little bit more than what we're going to be covering here today. So if you want to have other people to learn about it yourself, you want to see it again, stop by our session. Um, next day on Tuesday morning, um, reporting and data dashboarding for the modern business is a session by Gabriel, which is the CEO of Alexo, also talking about reporting, uh, dashboarding out of Acumatica. Uh, there's also a session, if you're a reseller, this is mostly for resellers, uh, I encourage you to go for the best practice for co-selling with ISVs. Uh, I'm gonna be part of the panel, about half the session, I'm gonna be talking about how ISVs together with Acumatica, we enhance uh, customer experience out of the whole Acumatica ecosystem. Uh, so maybe take a screenshot of this page if you want to get some suggestions of the Acumatica Summit. A uh, few clients using Data Self, some success stories. The first one, uh, technical co uh, contracting. Uh, they came from another ERP system. And one of the main goals when they moved to Acumatica was the ability to analyze their project history from the old system, the legacy system, and Acumatica together in a single place. And Data Self is the tool they're using to see their whole project history, sales history, financial history, like they never change from the old legacy to Acumatica. So very good success story. If you want to learn more, you can stop by our booth uh, at Summit to learn. Uh, Home Enhancement is a distribution company and Carl Owens, Owens is the director of sales, and he said that, you know, with Acumatica, the management of their sales, looking at what's growing, what's declining, where the opportunities are, becomes so much easier than before when it was a very manual process, Excel-based, and people would take a while to see perspectives from their sales operations. The last client, but not the least, Again, Acumatica, the company, using data self internally, and Nigel, the CFO, COO, uh, they use data self extensively, extensively for analyze sales trends. Uh, Acumatica is a company highly focused on customer satisfaction, and data self is helping them become even better at delivering in that value. Having said that, uh, big benefits of data self. Uh, probably the most important one is providing decision makers with easy access to their key performance indicators inside of Acumatica or outside of Acumatica as well. So let me just mute the other person here on my, my team. Uh, so the idea is decision makers 
can easily find the reports and dashboards using Acumatica as a portal. Maybe some of them don't have access to Acumatica, no problem. We can be inside of outside, but it becomes easy with data self, very intuitive. Uh, we have a lot of reports and dashboards available on day one. So as soon as we deploy, your decision makers will have valuable insights into critical uh, trends. It's very easy to customize. It's actually the easiest to customize reporting platform in the market. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why is the easiest in the next slide. But we'll, and we'll also show a little bit as I go to the product demo today. The technology uses the latest and greatest in analytics. Uh, it incorporates natural language, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So there's all of these things behind the scenes doing the magic of data self analytics. And the good news is the deployment of the out of the box is primarily a 15 minute procedure. All web based, you deploy it and off you go to start getting data, better data out of your Acumatica. Uh, from an architecture standpoint, and this is what we, we're calling advanced analytics, which is the old data self light, if you have heard about that before. But primarily, we, put, we pull data from Acumatica into our cloud system that is powered by technology developed for Fortune 2000 companies. We also add our own secret sauce, you know, data warehousing in Tableau, what I'm going to be uh, showing today. And Tableau is considered the gold standard for ease of use in user empowerment. Uh, and that's an endorsement by Garner. So that's why I'm saying is the easiest to use technology for reporting because it's very intuitive. Garner has been giving Tableau this kind of seal for about six years in a row. At the end of the day, decision makers get easy access to their reports. They can be using desktop computers, web browsers, mobile devices. Uh, this advanced analytics, which is very affordable, only pulls data from Acumatica, one tenant. If you have more data sources, if you have multi-tenant, then we have what is called enterprise analytics, which is a platform that leverages the full data warehouse framework that we can bring any data source together. Payroll, salesforce.com, Google Analytics, Excel sheets, point of sales, whatever you have in your system with enterprise analytics, we can bring all of them together. While the advanced analytics is primarily only Acumatica. Having said that, let's jump into the product presentation. So before I switch to the browser, uh, when I mention about being highly customizable and easy to use, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna start showing the pieces of the solution that are the most empowering. And when we talk about empowering, there's two groups of, group of people. There are the decision makers, uh, business users that quite often are super, super busy and might not have time to learn complex reporting tools. So they need something that they can actually run with it without going through hours of training and learning complicated things. So that's one kind of user. The other kind of user are the more, we call data geeks, people whose life is to do data analysis, to be reports and dashboards, to work with data problems, the data scientists per se. And for both of these uh, group of people, we have what's the best out there in technology. You know, some people tell the best technology on the planet is what data self uses. Anyhow, great technology to empower each group of people to be more independent. This, this demo, this webinar is gonna be focusing on users, business users, it's not focusing on the more technical side of it. I'm gonna show a little bit, but not too much. So let me show the first perspective of how this technology empowers uh, those users who don't have time to learn complex technology. So now I'm switching to Acumatica, so I'm inside of my Acumatica sandbox, and this is called natural language. Natural language is, if you know English, guess what? You are ready to build your custom reports. Yes, if you know English, you are ready. There's no extra training. Of course, you need to get to know the tool and how to poke around and how to get it right, but it's natural language. Let me show some examples. Right now, I'm connected to the sales 
natural language of data self inside of Acumatica. You don't even need to know this data self. It's just part of the Acumatica framework. But suppose I'm VP of sales and I will see sales by salesperson. What I do is I type sales by salesperson. And yes, I mistyped by just to show that even though I mistyped it, the tool kind of tried to figure out what I meant by those words and tell me, do you want to see the sum of sales, per sum of sales by salesperson? I'm going to confirm, just confirm, just click on it. And right there, the tool will come up with the salespeople, bars for sales, and that's it. It's that easy. If you type the question, the computer might understand and give you the right answer, like in this case. Now, real life can be more complicated, right? Sometimes people don't know how to ask the right question. In this example, it was a simple question, and when they look at the numbers, like account, uh, home account, $36 million, uh, that's kind of not, doesn't make sense. And then I realized, well, I just wanted to see the sales in 2019, because right now it's looking at the whole company history. Ah, right. Okay, so let's put in 2019. The tool try to interpret what you're asking and will give you options of what you're trying to say. You wanna filter by something, in this case, invoice date should be in 2019. Okay, so I click on it. Now the tool recalculate my query and shows that my home account is, was $80 million last year. Now we're talking. But again, natural language. Let's go further. What if I'm gonna break it down by month? What you do is by month. The tool again tries to interpret, gives me option. In this case, there's only one option, is by invoice date month, you choose it. And then it will change the format to something that is more meaningful for what the tool thinks you wanna see. So in this case, for the year 2019, by month, sales by salesperson. And it can change, you know, maybe I wanna see on a bar chart instead. And right there it shows, on a bar chart instead, by salesperson, by month, the sales. But again, business people will need no learning because they know English. I mean, if you know English, of course, right now it's only available in English. So if you know English, you can do it. Let me show some other examples. Oh, by the way, once you build this dashboard or this kind of query, if you wanna save it, you, click, you simply click save and you save it. It's that easy to, be, to get some answers to many business questions. Let me show some example, a little bit more elaborate. I wanna to see top 10 customers by sales. I just type it in, and actually let's put in April 2019. So a fairly complex question, and the computer actually figured it out, I wanna see the top 10 customers by some of sales with the invoice date in April 2019. That's exactly what I wanna see. I just confirm and that's the answer. It's really amazing. It's really empowering getting decision makers to find their answers. A final example uh, in my natural language. I wanna see sales by state. So now I'm talking about uh, geography analysis. In by, by, you know, right there, you see some of sales by state? Yep, I confirm. And guess what? You guess it right. You see a map and now showing darker colors for more sales, lighter colors for less sales. And again, you can keep on going. I wanna see by year. And I'm gonna show sometimes that when things don't go the way that people want, because again, natural language is a fairly new technology, is a few years old, and it's not perfect. By far, it's not perfect, but boy, it can give you a lot of answers. I'm showing an example now, I'm gonna choose by year. When I choose by year, what it does is something that I might not understand, uh, what happened to my map, right? If you really close, look closely, what it did is for, it put two years for every state, it shows a curve and then you can scroll down. But right now, this is not very informative. I still want my map back, please. Well, you we can go here and choose map, and then you're gonna get your map back. And in this case, it's gonna show nicely two maps side by side, both years, again, the color schema, and see how you're growing from one year to another on a geography standpoint. And just a final example I'm gonna put in April, 
So I want to see this analysis, what happened in April uh, in 2018 and 2019, you know, did it grow? Did it change from one year to another, specifically in April? So right now it's only looking in April. I see that I start to do some business uh, in some states. Um, uh, this um, Alabama, it becomes darker. You know, last year, $62,000 in sales. This year, $306,000 in sales. Very cool. But again, natural language, super empowering, getting decision makers to find answers to their questions anytime, anywhere, by just using plain English. Very empowering. Now, with natural language query, you can do these simpler queries. Maybe you're going to say, this is not simple, this is complex, without data self. Yes, true. In data self, it becomes simple. And by the way, some people, they don't like to see charts or they have a hard time understanding charts. Can you see numbers? Absolutely. You come here and say, I want to see a text table instead. So the tool will take whatever it found as an answer and give the information in a tablet format. So those people who are more numbers driven, not chart driven, they also get, get information uh, you know, in a tablet format. Now again, natural language is great, is super promising as, as it evolves, but still you cannot do everything when it comes to reports and dashboards. What I'm gonna show you now is the next part of data self that comes out of the box, ready to show a lot of key performance indicators on day one. So now out of this natural language, and by the way, let me just get more real estate because now we're gonna go into the dashboard capabilities. So we have a little bit more real estate. I'm gonna click the 360 view tab in the data self dashboard. This dashboard is, a, is an example of an out of the box dashboard designed for C-level people, CEOs, CFOs, COOs, people that wanna see information across the whole business. This is part of the advanced analytics package, you know, the one that only pulls data from Acumatica. If we were to look at the 360 degree view dashboard from the enterprise analytics package, then we can pull data from other data sources from payroll, if you're using an external payroll system, from Google Analytics, from social media, from Excel sheet, whatever it is, the enterprise can build, bring all of those pieces together. But the concept is the same. As a C-level person, I wanna see my data across different data silos. In this example, I'm looking at cash flow projection, I'm looking aging information, open sales orders, and sales in a single dashboard. Now in Acumatica, you can also see things like that. You know, you can take Acumatica built-in dashboards and build something like this. But in Acumatica, the built-in dashboards, which are really nice the way that they laid out, but if you try to interact with them, you usually go, when you click something, you go into the GI, and now you see all the underlying data. But you can't filter across the different sections. You cannot drill across make a lot of changes, it's usually one directional. You can drill down into the GIs and there you go. With data self, you can do a lot besides drilling into the details. Let's show some examples. So in this dashboard here, the middle section is for open sales orders. And I see that today I have about $470,000 worth of you know, open sales orders to be shipped. There's also some that are pretty late, is some that are not as late. I'm gonna click on the, this orders to be shipped today. And what happens is this whole section in the middle now only shows me the customers in the products that I'm, I'm supposed to ship today. And I wanna see more details about them. Let's say these top two customers, I wanna see what's going on with them across different areas of my business. I'm gonna come over here and select only these two customers. And what happens is now the whole dashboard changes to only show me sales for these two customers in the prior period. So right now, you know, last period I shipped about $400,000 and today I'm almost doubling my sales from last period to this period for this customer. So great news. Now, when I look at aging, you know, this teal color is on time 
in orange and brown colors or late invoices, I can tell that this customer, which has a big order, has a lot of you know, late invoices. Uh-oh, that could be a problem. That could hold the shipment. As a decision maker, I might want to be proactive to be sure this invoice is being paid or call the customer to see if there's anything holding the payment so we don't delay the shipment. And here again, if I click on this customer, it will change the dashboard again to only reflect the open sales orders for this customer, what I sold to this customer last period and how they affect my cash flow projection. So highly interactive, again, in Acumatica, you cannot do this filter around. When you click on something, you go to the GIs, you cannot see how it affects the other side of your business. So this is a, a major advantage for decision makers to see interaction among their different data sets before they drill into the details. Let me show one, one more example. Cash flow projection. For many businesses, you know, it's something important to keep a close track of cash flow projection. In here, what I have is bars up mean inbound money, bars down is outbound money. And this line means is the aggregation of the cash flow. And this is the line of credit. And this is today. And I can tell that on the 19th of October in my sample database, my cash flow projection is going to go negative. And that's going to be a problem, right? I'm going to go over my line of credit. And if I were the CFO and yesterday I, I, I had no cash flow issues and today I see this problem, I want to know what the heck is going on. So I'm going to click on this chart right now. And when I click, the tool will automatically shift into a zoom of the cash flow projection. I was in the 360 view perspective. Now I'm into a tab dedicated to do cash flow projection. So I can see more information visually as well as all the details. And right here I can see again on the 19th, a big outline of payment. And I still don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna click this bar. When I click this bar, the tool will filter my details to show me everything that's happened that particular day. And in this example, which is actually, I'm, I'm just telling the story of one of our clients, they have a, a similar situation. Uh, a vendor sent an invoice to be paid and the AP person just entered the system to be paid. However, that invoice was not actually delivered yet, therefore was not due yet, and this should be not affecting my cash flow projection. So when the CFO saw that this vendor that had $1 million worth of you know, invoices was already sitting as a payment, said, no, no, this is not correct. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do a what if scenario in my cash flow analysis. I'm going to say exclude this vendor out of my cash flow projection and let's see what happens. And when you exclude it, what I just did, it removes all the bills from that vendor and now my cash flow again is back to where it was supposed to be. So I'm just giving an example that using the data cell functionality, business users will be able to do this kind of, you know, what if scenario, slicing and dicing, see details, drill down to the details, like all of these underscore um, parameters, you know, organization, these would be vendors or customers. In document numbers, if they are underscored, means that if you click on it and you're in a production system, when you click, this would open the Acumatica document number, whatever the number is. If it is an AP or is it AR, when you click, you go straight into Acumatica and show that particular do document. If you click on the organization here, what's going to happen is open the customer or the vendor profile in Acumatica. So tightly integrated dashboard framework inside of Acumatica. And even if you're outside of Acumatica and you click on those things, and if you have credentials to Acumatica, it will launch Acumatica and open that particular document you just clicked on. So far, what I'm showing you is part of the out-of-the-box packages. So you don't have to build it from scratch. It's actually available on day one. Uh, let me show one more example. Uh, many organizations are sales-driven. 
and they want to have analysis around their revenues, their sales, you know, by customer, by product, by salesperson, by project, by GL account, things of that nature. Uh, and this is how interactive these dashboards can be. This is an example of an out-of-the-box report. Uh, it shows year-over-year -year sales. So right now I'm looking 2019 data through period 10. So I'm comparing 2018 versus 2019 through 10 periods. I can see the totals. I can see the variances. I can see this by period. And in my sample database, I'm in October. October 8 is the current day in my sample database. What if I want to compare through the period nine, because it's not fair to compare period 10 a few days versus the full month. I simply come over here, I remove whatever I want, press apply, and now make a comparison through the end of September, if I have calendar periods. And now I can see I'm growing 92% versus last year. I can see sales by salesperson this year and last year. I can see by location, bigger bubbles, bigger sales. And if it's black, it's growing since last period. If it's red, it's declining. I can see information by customer, by product. And what if I want to see how I'm doing only on the first half of the year? So I just unselect, only select the first six months, press apply. So this would be a half year comparison last year versus this year. And typically when people are analyzing this kind of things, people want to see top performers, biggest last year, biggest this year, in a certain quarter, in a certain month. Is it growing or declining? And it's very easy. If you want to see the top last year to date, I just sort this by this column. See, this is top cost by, by sales last year and how they're doing this year and how it's changing. Maybe you want to see who's growing the most. I just sort by the variance. So these are the customers growing the most since last year for the first six months. Maybe I want to see who's declining. I click again to sort in the descending order. And there it is. Two customers are responsible for a major decline in sales. What's going on? I can select these two customers and the whole dashboard will change to show everything about these customers in this perspective. You know, the totals, the sales curves, uh, who's selling to them, geography, you know, the ship to, where customer address, what products, and maybe, you know, what products are driving the decline. I can come to the product section and sort descending to show the top products that are, that are driving the major decline. And actually, these three products are driving the most sales decline for these two customers. This, again, is highly interactive. If you're a, a, a salesperson, a VP of sales, it takes little time for you to learn how to interact with these dashboards with little training. This can be done in mobile devices. They can be done inside of Acumatica. Um, if a business person comes to this dashboard and realizes, hey, I want to receive this dashboard in my email every morning, every, every, every Sunday, every first of the month, whatever the time period is, you as the administrator or the person themselves can just come and say, hey, I want to subscribe to this report. I click subscription. I tell who's going to receive it. I'm going to say, Peter's going to receive. Uh, let me try. There we go. Let's put Zach. Let's put, um, who else? Let's put that only one. I'm going to put myself. I can say only, only email this view or email me the whole workbook with all the tabs. And, and then you click subscribe, and that's it. Well, oh, whatever the schedule, you know, right now it would be daily six in the morning or only on Mondays or only monthly. You just pick the schedule, and then let's say monthly, the first day of, uh, the, first day of the month at 6 a.m., and once you click subscribe, myself and Zach would be automatically receiving. You don't have to tell anyone. You don't have to refresh. You don't have to, for a way to remember to email you it will be completely automatic in your inbox as a scheduled. And you, the user, can do it. Or you, that mean person, can schedule for all the users so they don't have to worry when to get, they'll just get into their inbox. Some users, they love to export to Excel. 
You know, they get this reports and dashboard, they want to get it to Excel to do something else, or they want to export to PDF, or they want to email to someone else. So I can come over here, let's say I want to see this customer information in Excel. I just click inside of this section or this widget, I go to download, and then I can download the image, I can load the data, the cross tab, and the PDF. Let me ex export the cross tab. The cross tab is primarily taking that particular widget and putting it in, inside of an Excel file as numbers, not as a sheet. So right here I have my customers and I have the sales last year and in, in, in this year. Super easy to get this built-in reports and dashboards and get to, into Excel. Or maybe I want to get this whole dashboard into PDF. You know, download PDF, create PDF, download, and now this becomes a PDF that you can email to people or you can do, uh, you know, print it out, whatever you want to do. So super easy to get it out of the, the framework. Now, uh, let me show the AR aging report and dashboard that is also available out of the box. Uh, for many businesses, aging, AR aging is not a big deal, uh, but many is a little hard to manage outliers, who's late, which account manager holding those accounts, who the customers are. So this is a way to see the total aging, aging by bucket, by where the money is supposed to come from, by due date, and today is this line here. So the green, the, the, the teal colors are on time and the other colors are you know, late um, aging. By salesperson, by document, by customer, and all the details. And let's say, hey, I wanna focus on only what's late. I can easily just select what's late buckets. And right there, the whole dashboard will focus only on what's late, money, what's, the money where it's coming from, by due date, salesperson, why not? And if I choose, let's say, hey, what's going on with these top three customers by, by late amounts? I just select them and again, the whole dashboard changes to only reflect what I selected. Highly interactive, really designed for business people who have little time to learn complex reporting tools. Get, inspire them to be more self-sufficient, to make more informed decisions, and these smart people will shine, they will grow, they'll sell more, your company will be, will be more successful, they'll give them more bonus, they'll give them more promotions, give them what they need to do better their jobs and every, everybody wins. That's what all data self is all about, empowering smart people with better decision making. Now, how a report like this would look on a mobile device? You know, business people are usually on the go. So let me switch now outside of Acumatica. Now I'm showing the same dashboard using a regular web browser. So as I mentioned, you don't need to be inside of Acumatica. No, you don't, you can be outside. Maybe some of your members, some of your users should not be Acumatica users at all. No problem. Maybe they're the board members. Maybe they are outside salespeople that don't have access to Acumatica. No problem. You can roll out functionality for them as well. They would see things in the same way using, mobile, uh, using web browsers in how these reports and dashboards look on, on a cell phone, for instance. I have this device layout functionality in the browser. When I click, it shows me that dashboard, how it has been organized or how the layout has been done from a mobile device like a cell phone in all the widgets, widgets are seen vertically. So kind of, you know, still, Pretty easy to find. In, in the same interaction, if you click on things right here in your mobile device, you're gonna slice and dice the dashboard the way that you, that you want. Uh, I, everything that I'm showing today uh, is designed for users who don't need a lot of training, like natural language, you maybe need zero training per se. So it's not for the more data geeks, that can learn how to change and how to modify. Uh, so today I'm not gonna show that part of the, 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 the process. Uh, when it comes to changing reports and dashboards uh, behind the scenes, there are training we offer and resellers offer as well. Uh, a lot of the changes don't take a lot of hours to learn. Uh, and if you wanna become a BI expert, you know, it can become a full-time job, but 
a lot of the changes, a lot of the customizations can be done with little training. So I highly encourage you for you to investigate our options as a, a way to enhance your report and dashboards from Acumatica. Um, let me show on our website some materials that you can also find uh, in case you want to go back and, and learn about data self. So I'm going to dataself.com. If you click Acumatica, you go to our Acumatica page. Uh, this link provides some additional content about Acumatica Summit and all the things we're doing around Acumatica Summit. So I encourage you to visit the page. Uh, this is, this uh, button here goes to the uh, data self analytics light which we are rebranding to advanced analytics. So I encourage you to click over there to also see some additional content, uh, description, pricing, and whatnot. Uh, you can also deploy data self analytics, uh, advanced analytics by clicking this button. You will need your reseller to be part of the process. So as you go through the deployment uh, questionnaire, you'll have to tell who your reseller is. We'll get them on board in the process and primarily in a 50 minute process, you know, someone can fill out this form and usually in a few hours by tomorrow, data self and advanced analytics will be live showing your data. All right, having said that, I'm gonna jump back to the PowerPoint. I hope you have found the presentation uh, very inspiring and informative. Uh, at Summit, we're gonna have some uh, news, new, new releases, uh, what we call the business essential templates. We're going to be uh, focus, uh, re reorganizing them to be around AP, AR, ENGL. So it's uh, AP aging, AR aging, cash flow projection, uh, AR sales analysis, NGL transaction analysis. So that's going to be the new business essentials package that we believe every company should have. If you have a PARNGL, you probably need the business essentials to get much better reporting out of it. Uh, we're gonna be also releasing the distribution templates that will build on top of the business essentials, adding inventory analysis, purchase order analysis, and sales order analysis. So if you're a distrib distribution company, uh, these additional templates should be of value to you. And also construction, uh, which initially is gonna be adding project accounting, like combining proof of invoices with AR aging, showing, you, showing your projects, you know, uh, the budget amount, the actual amounts, um, uh, revised budget and whatnot. So construction that will focus on those uh, different perspectives. So uh, to learn more, you know, go to Summit and ask us more details and we'll give you what the details are for those templates. Pricing, uh, so data self analytics, Advanced Analytics, which is the old data cell flight, st starts at $2.99 per month, and that is for the small edition. Larger editions, it, the price goes up. So if you have the X or the E or P, it's even more, but this gives an idea of the starting point. The starting price provides, again, AR sales, GL trend, AR and AP aging, cash flow projection, and 10 users. Uh, we are in a diff we are changing our pricing model so we no longer charge individual name user license like we used to. Uh, we're getting out of that business model. So right now when you get data self flight, you get 10 users for free. And as a promotion, if you order data self during summit, we're gonna give you a total of 20 users for free. So we're doubling the number of users if you order during summit. Also, contact us if you have more than 20 users. If you have 50 users or 100 users, we have user packages, of course, above uh, uh, 20. So contact us to learn more details about that. That's it, that's my presentation. I'm gonna open for questions and answers. And right now there's a little summary of what I just covered. Uh, to ask questions, you can use the Zoom, um, chatting panel or the Q&A panel. So I'm going to switch my screen to look at questions. And I have questions here. All right. 
So the first question is from Sherry. Can data self connect live to a non-premises point of sale system? Sherry, thanks for your question. Can data self connect live to a non-premises point of sale system? So first of all, uh, the answer is yes overall, uh, but we have to see in detail what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do. Uh, many people, when they ask for live connection to their source system, uh, they might not understand the implications of doing or using a, a solution as powerful as data self to connect to a live system. Uh, and I'm saying that because once you give your decision makers access to something like data self, you might have many of them clicking the refresh button all the time, very frequently. And you don't want to hit reporting in your live system all the time because you might slow it down, especially point of sale system. So yes, we can do it. Should we do it? Uh, Sherry, you know, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one conversation later to discuss what your thoughts are. Again, uh, this is an enterprise technology. If, if it's possible with technology, most likely our technology can do because we use real enterprise technologies that support you 2000, but we will ask the right questions to see if that's what you want. Most of the time, what we do instead is we do either um, multiple refreshes throughout the day, every, I don't know, every hour, every half an hour, every 15 minutes, and we do small pools, so we don't pull, we don't slow down your source system, and the data is not necessarily live, but might be as fresh as of people need it. And again, if it needs to be live, we can do it, but we always question why you want to do it. So Sherry, we'll take this question offline to discuss more in detail and see if it makes sense to you. More questions. There's another question here from Margaret. Uh, how much training is involved in learning data self? Margaret, thanks for your question. Um, training depends. Um, like I mentioned, to learn natural language, you don't need training. You just need a little tour. And using English, you can ask questions and find, answer, find answers. At the same time, natural language, as I mentioned, is not perfect. And it will not answer all questions. It will answer a subset, subset of the questions. So typically, people, some people will have to learn also other pieces of the tool on how to do it. Uh, we have many users that have zero training and they become self-sufficient. There's a lot of online documentation for self-taught people. However, we have all other, other users that became wizards in data self and they have invested a lot of time into training. Overall, when we sell data self, we usually budget we are the reseller, but just time enough to get you covered with the basics, what usually 80% of the customers need to get completely in a much better and more empowering reporting framework. So we usually budget you know, enough hours to get you to that level. But again, some users, they need little or no training. Some users might spend a lot more time depending on how complex their BI needs are. Maybe you want to integrate a lot of different data sources. Again, Salesforce.com, Acumatica. Maybe you have other ERP system that you want to bring all the data together to consolidation. You might have multi-currency. Uh, you know, it can be very complex and require a lot of time. But most people require usually hours of training to become self-sufficient. I want to ask them one more question and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it. Let's see here. Okay. A uh, question from Carl. Uh, what's the difference between light and enterprise? And Carl, I guess you've been hearing from us for a while. Uh, light, we're now calling advanced analytics and enterprise, we're calling enterprise analytics. So let me go back to my slide where I talk about those two and tell the difference. So this is the advanced analytics or formerly light and this is the enterprise. And the only change between the two is that, that I put an additional other data sources right here. In a nutshell, advanced analytics takes advantage of a transparent data warehouse. What is a transparent data warehouse? It's something you don't have to worry about, but it's doing a magic behind the scenes. It's extracting your data efficiently, 
Uh, you're not going to see Acumatic is slow, slowing down. By the way, with data self, typically, if you're having performance issues in Acumatic, for whatever the reason is, I'm sorry, if you're having performance issues because of reporting, maybe you're running GIs, maybe you're running dashboards in Acumatic, and Acumatic slows down. If you're having those issues, data self will likely remove 100% of the problem. Acumatic will no longer have any issues, will run fast, and data self reports run always in seconds because of the data warehouse. So advanced analytics are light. Use a transparent data warehouse that makes extraction simple, that aggregates data when it run reports, runs super, super fast. But you can only pull data from one Acumatic instance, and that's it. And nobody touches the data warehouse. It's just GIs flow through the transparent data warehouse and connect to Tableau. So people use Tableau and GIs in the middle, the, data, the transparent data warehouse makes the magic. If you have more sophisticated needs, if you need to do massage, data massage in the data warehouse, if you need to do multi-company, many Acumatic databases, maybe you want to integrate several different ERP systems, you want to bring Salesforce, then you need to have the data warehouse unlocked. No longer transparent, but completely fully functional, full flash data warehouse in the cloud, and that's the enterprise. Same benefits as the prior one, but now you can do multi-company, you can do multi-currency, integration, new data sources, more data massage, much more power to your needs. So that's pretty much the difference between the two. Transparent data warehouse, you don't touch it, versus an unlocked data warehouse to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Folks, I have budget uh, 45 minutes, so I'm getting out of my time here. I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint to wrap it up. Uh, where's my PowerPoint? Oh, I just have to click here, go to the next slide. Uh, we're going to have uh, a booth, as I mentioned over there. We're going to have sessions. We're going to have in three or four of my team over there. We should have Zach, Taylor, and potentially Clark as well. I highly encourage you to stop by, talk with us. Uh, ask questions. If you want to schedule any meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings, absolutely contact us. Uh, we will be happy to sit down with you to discuss your needs, to see how data self can be more valuable to you. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in Vegas. By the way, this session is being recorded and we're going to make available to you. So if you want to share with other people, feel free. Thank you for joining and hopefully see you in Vegas. Thank you all.